okay so the manhunt season is done the, we beat the final mission we got the recruiter but still some people still struggling to try and figure out how to beat this mission because it is kind of a, of a hard mission uh, because it has some nice mechanics to it so with that said on this video i do want to show you guys the build that i used to beat the recruiter and I did it on heroic difficulty with four directives on. Now, I do not recommend having four directives. And honestly, you can also do it on any difficulty. But I'm just going to show you guys the build that I use to beat this recruiter on heroic difficulty with four directives. And uh, yeah, this build helped me out. Maybe it will help you out. But if you're not using this one, actually, let me know in the comment section below what build that you use. Now, we all know the rewards for this mission. It's kind of meh. I made a whole video about that. So if you guys want to check that out. But still, I just want to show you guys the build that I have. Uh, that way, you guys can let me know what you guys think of it. So let's get into this. So this is the build that got me through it. Now, keep in mind, again, this mission has some mechanics. Uh, I made a video also explaining the mechanics, how you can get through it. But this build actually helped me out because I can dish a lot of damage and I do have a little bit of armor regen with a 1.2 million armor. I do recommend having a little bit of armor also so you don't go down as fast. But still that NPC can destroy that armor. So 1.2 million armor is just to make sure you don't get one shot. It. So I feel like that's decent enough and it helped me out. So starting with the build, obviously we went with the Striker Battle Gear. This is one of the best gear sets in the game currently for DPS. So with the two piece, you gain 15% weapon handling. With the three piece, you gain 15% rate of fire. That increases our DPS by having that on the build. So with the fourth piece, we get the Striker Gamble. Now we know the Striker Gamble, basically you shoot the enemies, you gain stacks per hit. And once your stacks goes up, your damage goes up. Now the stacks goes up to a total of 100 stacks and the damage that you gain per stacks is 0.65%. Now if you have the backpack which is what we have on this build, your damage per stack is 1% instead of 0.65%. So that's why we have in here, that way you can get that damage a lot faster and honestly uh, you gain more damage instead of 65% you get 100% damage with our stacks. Now, as I mentioned, we have four pieces of this striker on this build. On the backpack, we have quarter attribute weapon damage, attribute crit damage with a mod of crit chance. The gloss will be quarter attribute armor in here. That's one of the pieces that has armor and then attribute crit damage. The knee pads will be weapon damage and crit damage and also the holster weapon damage and crit damage. Now, usually on striker gears, I always try to go with crit damage on the attribute as you guys uh, notice right there. The second piece I want to talk about is going to be this one right here is a bellstone armory. Now, I choose this chest piece just because of that 1% armor regen. Now, you're going to say that's not enough. That's nothing, right? But honestly, I feel like that's just enough to get your armor back if you get some hits because uh, you don't want to waste your med kits. And sometimes you will take some damage because, again, that recruiter can destroy your armor really fast with that said if we check the defense stats we have 118,000 armor on kill with a 16,000 armor regen so that's plenty to just keep us alive right so going back to that bellstone armory we have the quarter attribute armor and attribute in here we have armor regen and crit damage with a mod of crit chance now the armor regen in here is not necessary just by having the bellstone armory i would say that's good enough but in my case i had this chest piece just the way it is and i like it so it worked for me now the talents i recommend obliterated obviously because you gain a weapon damage increase every time you crit on your enemies so basically you can get up to 25 stacks which is basically a 25 percent weapon damage easy to proc and easy damage especially goes really well with the striker last piece is gonna be the mask the coyote mask in here now this is an odd uh choice but i like the coyote mask because um on this scenario i can dump most of my damage on a crit damage and i'll wait for the coyote mask to give me that crit chance to cap it at 60 so Currently, if I check on my stats, I have 48% crit chance and 149 
concrete damage now if you notice on the gameplays that hunter always trying to get close to you now you want to keep that mid um the mid distance between you guys that way you don't take as much damage and also if you have to escape you can escape so i would say the creator mask in here i'm going for that mid range that way i can get another 10 percent crit chance in here and another 10 percent crit damage right here so that's why i have the coyote mask working for me to give me crit chance and crit damage on 15 to 25 meters the weapon of choice in here i went with saint elmo's engine pretty standard and pretty straightforward um one it's one of the best weapons currently in the game uh two it has 70 bullets it will help you get those stacks faster and three, once you get that shock ammo, it actually you it works on the hunter, on the recruiter. So sometimes actually it helped me out because uh, I got it shocked. It was enough time for me to put enough damage for the next phase. So that's just a great option. Now the secondary in here, uh, I do have the vector SBR nine millimeters. Um, it's just my secondary that I like to use on many of my builds, but I know some of you guys like to go with the ACS-12 as a secondary when you are using a striker because you gain that stacks faster. So if you want to use this, actually you can put it on, that way once you are behind cover and waiting for that uh, damage phase, you can use the ACS-12 just to get the stacks and then before this, the damage phase starts, you can swap to your Stan Elmas engine and make sure you do more damage. For the skills, it doesn't really matter in here because they will get deactivated. But throughout the mission, I would say um, the Jammer Pulse actually comes in handy because there is some robotics out there. So by having the Jammer Pulse, you will make sure they are deactivated that way you can shoot them down faster so i would say jammer paul is definitely throughout the mission it's a good option now to finish it off taking a look at the stats again we have the Saint elmo's engine in here with a 48 percent crit chance 149 percent crit damage 75 hatchet damage we do have a 10 percent damage target out of cover that does not show in here on weapon stats so that's just to keep that in mind and on the defensive stats we have 1.1 million armor well it shows right here it runs up to 1.2 million armor right but we get 118,000 armor on kill that's gonna help us throughout the mission and 16,000 armor regen which is not a lot but but it will just uh make sure to cap up your armor back on the full right so yeah guys that's the build let me know what you guys think on the comment section below Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys' support. If you guys enjoyed the video, a like on it would be super appreciated. Subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out, everybody.